I'm gonna be doing a video every single day during this Kickstarter campaign that we just launched for the film. We put some energy and effort into making this really funny, fun pitch video for Kickstarter, and I hope you like it. I know it's to promote a horror film, but the film itself, the fetus, does have some weird, awkward, humorous, and sometimes laugh out loud moments. And we're gonna be running Facebook ads as well. That's part of a, a test for our marketing campaign leading up to the release of the film. How the fetus came to be was I had done 12 short films that I had directed because over the last 20 years, I've just been honing my craft because I never wanted to make a movie that was not gonna be good, that wasn't gonna be engaging, that didn't have good characters, that didn't have a good, strong storyline. And so that's why I spent so much time writing and directing to get to the point where once I did my last short film, it's called Fugitive Zero, we did a crowdfunding for that and we raised $12,000, it was successful. But we went on a festival run and worldwide it picked up 56 awards and the cast and the crew, they were so proud of the work I'm so proud of them for their contributions to it. And I always wanted to make that into a feature length film. But what happened was I was, during COVID, I was attending the virtual Cannes Film Festival because everything was shut down, it was all virtual. I started sending out the short film, Fugitive Zero, to producers at that festival. And the 10th one I sent it out to, his name was Joe Barbagallo, uh, and he runs a company called Barb House and he's done a whole bunch of uh, horror films and continues to do so and find success in that area. And he looked at it and he said, wow, this, this looks great, you know, um, and let's talk. So we went ahead, got on a Zoom call, and from there, I just shared with him that, you know, I, I wanna be an action thriller director. And he said, well, I can't really back you for a big movie like this, because this is gonna be a three to $5 million movie. Let's do something smaller, which is a horror film. So. He offered me a, a screenplay, and um, it was in the half a million dollar budget range. And uh, to be honest, I wasn't crazy about it. So, um, but the, the door was open there, and I said, well, you know what? What if I were to write something with similar cast, similar locations, similar budget range, and see if you like it? Started developing what became the fetus and it was a year-long journey for me to write it was 45 drafts that evolved over time and I put things in myself that were just fears of in terms of relationship fears of commitment and I, I started to explore and say what hasn't been done in the horror genre and it, it, it turns out that a lot of times things are not crossed over where you have the humans and the, the, the evil entities or the demons like crossing over and mixing too much. There's always a separation between the human side and the evil side. And I wanted to uh, pose a question to say, well, what happened if that evil was inside of you? What would you do? Because it's a part of you now. Do you embrace it? Do you get rid of it? How do others around you feel about it? And it's something that's growing inside of you. And that's where the fetus started to gestate that kind of idea for this type of story. What do you do? Because it, it, even though it's something that's, that's not good for you, it's still a part of you. How do you do that? Because we all have dualities. We all have a good side. We all have a bad side. Anyone can be a saint or a monster. And some people express both at the same time where you have people that say like, they are serial killers, but they have a family, right? They've got the positive side, they're supporting their family, but at the same time, they're a serial killer, they're killing people. So I find that, I found that very interesting and also to tackle the pro-choice, pro-life debate. I do not take a stance on that, but I embedded that into the story because I found that it, it's a hot topic during this time right now. Uh, our country is divided, really split, uh, on that, uh, but I didn't want it to be preachy or have such a, like a strong, heavy-handed message. It's a part of the story, but it doesn't dominate the story. What I really wanted was to have truly engaging characters that were facing life or death situations, and I believe that we pulled it off. And characters that you really care for, and some characters that we've been told in our test audience screenings that, you know, I don't like this character at all. This, this guy is a jerk. But people start to grow to like 
with his character because he starts to change over time. He starts fighting for what he believes. And there's a lot of the duality, the opposition, facing your fears, that there's control issues in there. At the end of this video, I'll play for you the Kickstarter pitch video that we made. And we've already got three backers. We launched yesterday. We we're only looking for a small amount. And it's really just for merchandising because I'm a firm believer in not just entertainment, but also education. We've got a lot of great things uh, lined up that we're gonna be launching, co coinciding with the release of the film as well, so. Are you tired of predictable horror movies? Come on, baby, push, come to Papa. <laughs> Tastes campy. That's my baby. Oh, I'm afraid it's premature. But with your help, we can bring this baby to term. Hello again, big donor. Remember me? Tuesday night at the Love Bank? Well, I need you to squeeze out another donation to bring something special to life. That's The Fetus, an indie horror film about a half-human, half-demonic fetus with the thirst for blood. And with your help, it'll be born. And isn't every life precious? And let's be honest, aren't you tired of all the endless remakes coming out of Hollywood? Jump scare stabbing? Very original. <sighs> After the tenth remake and half the budget, his scare appeal goes down the toilet. <laughs> you deserve a better movie. We've poured thousands of pints of blood, sweat, and a couple teaspoons of meat into making this film, and would hate to deliver the fetus prematurely. The good news is, we've already shot and edited 90% of the movie. That's almost a full load. Our test audiences have rated a 7 out of 10, but we plan to knock it up. This movie's got everything you'd want in a horror flick. Blood, creatures, humor, and sex. There's a little bit of me in there. With your support, we'll give this film the happy ending it deserves. And by happy, I mean filled with blood, gore, action, and more blood. But why take the word of a talking sperm? News outlets that have covered the fetus include Hollywood Reporter, E! News, Bloody Disgusting, Daily Dead, Joe Blow, and Coming Soon. No pun intended. <coughs> so if you'd like to support a horror film with an original storyline, cool creature effects, and emotional performances, then choose a reward, donate, and help deliver the fetus. You're too late. Sorry. The fetus. It's coming. But only if you donate.